What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Man, y'all do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. So what we got on deck today, man, we got Giannis. We got Giannis and Dane, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, words coming out, man, that Giannis and Dane didn't get an opportunity to work out this offseason. Uh, is it something or is it nothing? Um, I think it's going to turn into a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of something. Um, good thing I would say about this kind of is that they got to play together somewhat to some degree as a last season, build a little bit of chemistry just to kind of get a little bit of an understanding of how each other game is, where they like the ball on the court, just to kind of learn each other's game a little bit in real game time type, you know, situations. So that's that's its own type of learning curve at the same time. But in the off season, when you come into a new team, two superstars merges together, you would think that, you know, probably getting some reps in together or workouts together. Uh, to try and help kind of speed up that process of building that chemistry and camaraderie and just figuring out each other's games and spots where they like the ball on the court and things of that nature, man. You'll, you'll try and build that time in the offseason. But that didn't happen. Giannis played in the Olympics. Uh, Dame was doing what, you know, what he uh, does in the offseason and things of that nature. So for whatever reason, man, it, the, the word is they didn't have an opportunity to kind of work out together in the offseason. Now, is that out of the norm for uh, other players, whether it be teammates, new teammates, for them to not work out together, no, that's not out of the norm. A lot of a lot of these players will work out individually. They will have their own trainers or training regimens, uh, kind of certain workouts and things they do to kind of prep and get ready for the season. And then that's the whole point why you go into training camp. You know what I mean? Uh, just getting getting prepared and ramped up for for the actual NBA season or NFL season or whatever professional sports you play. That's the whole point in those mini camps or training camp. You know what I'm saying to get into it. So. I, I have to say it's a little bit of more on the side of nothing more than anything. Uh, people are trying to just trying to look to kind of build or throw any slight kind of little narrative that way or add to it. Me, I think it's nothing. Uh, again, they'll have a full training camp to go with each other. So they'll have an opportunity to play uh, again, learn, learn more. I think it could have, it wouldn't have hurt at all if they would have had, you know, worked out or did some type of workouts of some sort together, whether it be shooting drills or just, um, you know, pick and roll, whatever the case may be in the system that Doc is planning to run for them this upcoming season, just kind of giving them a head start on it so they can go on and work on it individually or with themselves. I think that would have been a good plan. But at the same time, again, they're getting a full off season to come back healthy, um, be able to understand, you know, what's what, you know, this time around coming into a better feel of things, looking at the understanding we got, we got a full training camp together, no distractions, nothing new here. Now it's, now this is our true first year together where there is going to be some sort of um, anticipation, you know, that, that this Bucks fan, these Bucks fans are going to be, you know, asking for it. They're not going to be, you know, the expectation is going to be there. You know what I mean? At least semifinals, if not the finals, you know what I mean? Cause you have two of the best players in the league and you got a well-structured team, decent coach. <clears throat> so it, they, the, the expectations are going to be there. It's definitely going to be there. Now it's all, the, it's all the point of seeing how do they bounce back to it? How do they respond to it? How does Giannis and Dane figure out, you know, playing off one another? How can they make it work? And if it will work, you know what I mean? It's, it's all a matter of, of uh, these things meshing together, Doc coming up with a game plan to be able to maximize these two players, their 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 skill sets and things of that nature, man. And if it don't work, you know, uh, you already know the 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 easiest scapegoat they're going to go to is blaming Doc Rivers, man. It's, it's going right out the gate. It's going to be easy to do, <clears throat> especially depending on, how everything plays out as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Is it something or is it nothing that Damon and Giannis didn't have an opportunity to, to work out in this offseason together? Again, even though they, they will be going into training, having a full training camp together as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. But that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate y'all coming through. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And as always, man, I appreciate y'all coming through. If you want to support the channel, you see that information right there. It's in the description as well. Uh, feel free to leave a super thanks. Bag out, hit the like button. Four icons over to the right. Click where it says thanks. Follow the instructions. You can support the channel that way, man. But again, I appreciate y'all coming through. I'll be back and try another one. And as always, man, we out of here. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed, man. We out.